Blue Log Chapter 214 is now here and we have learned many new things as the Ubers vs Mu Chen match heats up. We started the chapter with a panel from Aiku and he talks about Asagi's new lefty shot. He knows that it's impossible to become two footed in just a matter of days. It's true that Asagi learned his new lefty shot in just 5 days and it is still a miracle how he adapted to it so fast. Aiku then leaves an ending about Asagi's shot. I think right here that he might be indirectly stating that his lefty shot is not 100% or he is stating that Asagi really is the king of adaptability to be able to make a new shot in that span of time. We then see Lorenzo come up to Asagi and he tells him that he's definitely not worth 50 million. Lorenzo then states that Asagi is the ace as well as Kaiser and Asagi does not question it and tells him not to pick the wrong guy. Lorenzo then tells Asagi to not get cocky off of one lucky goal and he then calls forward the Ubers. We then get to see the philosophy of Stumpy the Clown. Stumpy asks the Blue Lock players what does football mean to you and they all give the same normal response like betting your life on it. He then asks the question, what will you have left if football is taken from you? Now this is a very different question from the others because Snuffy gives a reality check to Blue Lock. You can get injured at any moment or you just can't play at the top level and football can be taken from you. To answer this question means to get full resolve in your path of becoming a player and you won't just be a dreamer or amateur like Snuffy said. Snuffy then declares that football is a job and the thing of the Uber is like a corporation. Games are business deals and the players are employees. We have yet to see a kind of systematic playstyle like this before. Snuffy even studied the data of every single player and put a game plan with many different situations putting together their strengths and weaknesses. He then says that if they were to lose this that they should blame him because he is the president who could not come up with a winning strategy. He wants the players to become his strategy's arms and legs, kind of like joining the army. It's a completely new way of thinking and not bad for Italy who thrives for defensive situations. Now if you don't remember, PXG beat Ubers in the first game together but we did not see Barrow or Lorenzo in that panel. It also does not show Barrow's point of view from when Snuffy is talking but it showcases everyone else's. I think Barrow did not fully agree with this plan as he wants to be the king and take over and maybe even Lorenzo had his own plan as well causing both of them to be sat out. Now, this is something that we still need to know more of because it looks like on the field now Lorenzo and Barrow are in sync the most out of everyone else. So I wonder what those two did to be cool with each other and to agree with Stumpy's system. We continue back to the game and Asagi steals the ball that was headed to Barrow. Barrow then tells Ubers to get him and three people swarm at Asagi. Their pace completely picked up and they worked very well together in a coordinated system. While Asagi is thinking, Nico then comes over and steals the ball. Now I'm going to go over what the leak said for this panel here as it is different. In the leak script, Nico says it's a stratagem. By the time you realize it, it's too late. Your work here is done. Now this raises a huge question from before that Ubers let Asagi score the goal. Now, I don't know fully if that's true anymore but for Nico to say your work is done could mean that they have now put Asagi down as neutralized. For the Ubers to react so fast and calmly after a goal like that is amazing. It's almost like they weren't shocked at all from the goal and just went right back to work. Stumpy's philosophy is treating football as a job. The players are all now employees under Stumpy's system. Because of this their morale and emotions are not as high as before. They all look like soldiers carrying out their mission. It's like they predicted the game before it even started. Now Italy is a league that favors slyness and tactics and has a playstyle that fuses individual strength with robust team organization. This makes sense in their style and then you add on Snuffy who is a contractor that brings victory to whatever team he plays for. Snuffy might be the most analytical and intelligent player we have seen so far in Blue Lock. To Snuffy, winning is an obligation and a duty. You win and you get to earn money, simple as that. Everyone on Ubers moves on the same page. They have strategies, ideas, and options that even Asagi with MetaVision is taking everything to grasp all of that. It's like all the players are one organism. I think this panel is put well because it shows the coordination of Uber's team and just how in sync they are. I like how it kind of shows a lion and a mouth ego which symbolizes both Lorenzo and Barrow. This might be a huge takeaway showcasing that Lorenzo and Barrow are the high acting members of the organization, kind of like the sergeants in military terms. This Uber's team is the complete opposite of Moon Chen where half of the team is divided and you have two kings trying to take over the team. On Uber's there is no king though. They are all the same and carry out the will of Snuffy's strategies and that is to win by any means. We all thought before that if Moon Chen was to win by rational and logical means, then Ubers would be to win by any means whether logical or illogical. This thought process includes strategies and coordination that could only be successful if all 11 players in the field were in sync. To be able to get Barrow to agree to this kind of principle makes you wonder just what kind of guy Snuffy is. He did what some thought would be impossible and now Barrow has become a tremendous player because of it. I want to see more of Barrow's point of view and just what made him decide to change his mind. We know that Uber's formation is very defensive heavy and it leaves Barrow up top as a lone striker so it seems that their main system is to have Barrow up top but what if the strategy is just for Moon Chen and they went with something else for other teams. It could be possible considering Lorenzo and Barrow did not play versus PXG allegedly and then Barrow goes ahead and scores a hat trick the game after. I'm curious to know your guys thoughts on that one. Now let's talk about Nico here. Nico got a lot of attention in this chapter and he was the one to point out the strategies and how using them could help them win flawlessly. Nico was the only game strategist in Blue Lock as we've seen in the first selection when he already had strategies on beating teams and knowing exactly what to do once they scored a goal. 
His game planning and IQ were amazing at the time, and he was very difficult to deal with. Now he's at a place that thrives with defense, and he now has an elite game strategist with him. During the under-20 match, he was the team's watchtower who sprayed the field and watched everything. He did not allow a goal from Shido and was a hard anchor for the defense before getting injured and having to step out. I think Nigo is the one who improves the most in this environment and he has special eye capabilities as well, just like Asagi. I wouldn't be surprised if he gains meta vision as well. Now another big thing here is Nico is leading the charge for Ubers. Now we have seen Lorenzo lead the charge before and then passing the brawl and now we have Nico. I think the author is putting a hit on Nico to showcase his development this far and we will get to see what he has changed on himself since the under 20 match. We also see that Sendo is right next to him and he was the ace striker for the under 20 match who could not do much once Shido came into the game. We will also see if he can redeem himself and be the striker who scores goals. Now the next chapter is titled successor and that basically means who is next in line to succeed. In this case it's for Snuffy. Now I think it has to be either Nico or Baro. Many could say Baro because of the way he's playing right now and he's able to work in Uber so well but I'm not putting him up there just fully yet. I feel Snuffy's thought process and the way he goes about things is still unlike something we will see from Baro. Someone who resembles more of that is Nico. Nico could be the successor and the person who takes over the mantle for Snuffy. With his philosophy mixed into this team, I'm sure Nico has learned a lot and hopefully in the next chapter we get to see that. This Ubers team now is starting to pick up the pace and we get to see just how scary they can be. How are you guys feeling about Snuffy's philosophy and do you think Chen can still win after seeing the way Ubers play? I would say Ubers have to be the worst matchup for Chen because of playstyles. A team that focuses on individual strength and then a team that focuses on putting together individual strength with teamwork. That kind of matchup would be hard to think. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Well, I thank you guys for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back in the next one. Peace.